Hey, there's still time. My YouTube's Cockatiel Plush is still available for a limited time. There's only a few weeks left, so make sure you get in quick. Because once it's gone, it's gone. Forever. I helped design the plush, and if you buy one, it does support me and my animals as well. My light is broken. <laughs> Yuki approves of it. So, you know, that's pretty cool. <laughs> the link is down below on youtube.com. Make sure you get in quick before it's all gone. Hey guys, it's Soda here. Welcome back to another video. It's TikTok time, baby. We're gonna watch some pet TikToks today that you guys have sent me on TikTok and uh, see what's popping on TikTok lately. Last video, we talked about a lot of questionable things. Let's see if there's anything different. So doesn't my goldfish tank look so nice back there? I redesigned it um, on my last video if you didn't see that and uh, I just love how it looks. It looks so nice. Fuck. Alright, here's my TikTok account. Uh, if you want to tag me in anything, you guys should also like watch on my TikTok. Because uh, I'm posting some Aqua Dragons updates on TikTok right now so you should check them out. I'm trying to post on TikTok more. Trying to. I love this account. <laughs> oh my god, that did not phase him one bit. Oh, I love I love the sound effect. The sound effect made it seem like it was a lot harder than it was, but I think it was very light. See that. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! He did not care at all though. That's so funny though, because I feel like we've all done that. I, I probably have done that. Have I done that to you? I'm pretty sure I have. Um, I think I've I've talked about this account before. It's super adorable. Uh, and I've commented on their like cage because it's like, I think handmade, but it looks super cool. I got a male bed of fish. Ready for new home. Oh no. After doing more research, they said it needs to be at least on five gallon tank. So I got him a five gallon tank. Thank you. Hope he likes his new house. Oh, it looks I so good too. Of... When I first saw this video, I did not expect it to take a positive turn, but it did. I love, love seeing that. So to start off with a bowl, unfortunately, I mean, maybe it's like a bit earlier to do the like research before you get the fish, but hey. It's better than nothing, you know. They Doing probably know that research, now. They said it needs to be at least on and the fact they actually changed it too is, is really cool. Most people so don't I do that. This is a nice looking tank as well. Five gallon tank. Hope and they got a heater and a filter as well. I mean, the only thing is, is I don't think they cycled anything, which is, you know, could be a problem, but I assume they probably weren't aware of that. So hopefully they know about cycling now because I wouldn't want them to lose their fish from not cycling the tank first but still this is um you know very good to see why don't people always ruin it in the comments people wondering about cycling honestly you don't need to i never cycle mine and mine's an explorer also super proud of you just because your fish survived not cycling your fish tank doesn't mean you should encourage other people to do it you just got lucky that your fish survived living in poor water conditions from not being cycled and you shouldn't tell other people they shouldn't worry about cycling because of that because then your fish might die from ammonia poisoning from not cycling it so <sighs> yeah I'm not a beginner i've been selling on the pits i'm getting a scorpion soon and i'm gonna be a vet soon if you know what you're doing you don't need to cycle please don't be a vet okay this girl I wanted to talk about. I think we should watch the original video first. So I don't really know who this girl is. I think I saw TikTok of her singing or something. Uh, I don't really know. But let's just watch this video. Hey y'all, uh, I just wanted to come on here and clarify something because a lot of people say that they feel bad for my gecko and this and that. My gecko is perfectly fine. When they scream, yes, that means that they're stressed. But every time that my gecko stream screams, I make sure to put him down. I'm not going to lie. I used to stress my gecko out. But I didn't know what that meant. And I just thought he was doing it just to do it. But now I learned how to bond with him. And he's perfectly fine and happy. And yeah. Also, I don't squeeze my gecko. Me holding it like this has nothing. I'm not squeezing it. I would never do that. My gecko loves to interact with people. <laughs> and also, my gecko is just a baby. So, 
go. So this was the first video I saw. Um, and at the time, when I first saw this, I didn't even know geckos could scream. I've never heard of a leopard gecko screaming before because it's just so rare. Like, usually you would only hear ge geckos scream, like, if they're at a vet, which is like a stressful situation for them and the vet might be giving them something, you know? You just, it's just so rare that I didn't even know that they screamed. And I've never owned leopard geckos, so I keep that in mind, but it's just, it, it's very rare. And I saw the video, I went and found the video that she's talking about. Yeah, the video is really disturbing. She's basically holding the gecko. To me, it does look like she's squeezing it because the gecko is struggling. It's try, it, like trying to twist out of her hand and stuff but it can't. It's got its mouth open, you know, screaming and she's just like holding it laughing while it's struggling in her hand. It's really disturbing and I just don't understand how like you could see your animals like clearly struggling, like obviously struggling in your hand, screaming, thrashing around and you laugh at it and then make a video saying how your gecko is perfectly fine and you used to stress it out sometimes but you didn't know you were stressing it out like obviously like you can make mistakes but how do you not hear your gecko screaming see it physically struggling and not realize you're stressing it out because i feel like that would be anyone's first um reaction to hearing their animal screaming would be oh my god i'm, I'm hurting it what am i doing wrong you know not laughing while squeezing it which to me, she said it wasn't squeezing it, but to me it looked like she was squeezing it pretty obviously, so I'm gonna say she's squeezing it. Uh, and this video I wanna show is a stitched video by a leopard gecko owner that I wanna show just because they probably know a lot more than me since I've never owned them before. When they scream, yes, that means that they're stressed. Yeah, no, if you don't know already, this very much needs to be talked about. She posted a video and it is now deleted, but it was a video of her squeezing her gecko and it was screaming and wiggling trying to get out of her hands and she was just laughing at it and continued to post that video on social media and she's someone with a fairly large audience and following she made that video saying how she admittedly stressed her gecko out and how when it screams she makes sure to put it down my geckos have never screamed since i own them she did not just stress out her leopard gecko she's a it. And we're not gonna forget just because she deleted the video and admitted that she stressed her gecko out. And I can't even show the video because it would get taken down for animal abuse quite quickly. Y'all need to do better. Yeah, I think that they brought up a lot of good points. Like just because someone acknowledges that they stress out their gecko doesn't mean that like that's okay. You know what I mean? Like it didn't even like feel like she really cared. I mean if you watch the video, it's like I don't think you can just apologize for doing what she did because yeah i mean i think you get the idea but i i saw people also commenting on my last techno video asking me to talk about this so yeah that's my thoughts on it uh let me know what you think i'm really tired of these big influences getting away with just doing shit like this all the time it's just crazy to me Okay, this one was on my For You page. So they're called A Greater Siren, which is such a cool name, by the way. I'd, I've seen these before, but I didn't know you could get them as pets. But they're super cool. They're just basically like, they have an axolotl, like, head and arms. But then the body is just like a big, long eel. It's super cool. I love them. I love the pipes. Like... Such a good idea too, they can like swim through the pipes. Oh, I want I want it! Give it to me! <laughs> but I, I assume we can't get these in my country. I don't even know, like, can they be captive bred or are they wild caught? Like, I have no idea. Look at them go! They're so cool! Water ferrets! Oh my god! That's so true. Whoa, the gills are so different. Okay, they, they look so different at the front. The gills look like tree branches, like they're super different to X-Little gills. And the faces are a lot more square shaped. That's so cool. This is one, I don't know if I reviewed this one. I've definitely reviewed videos like this. Why? I've seen several of these videos now and I have talked about them before. I just don't get it. Stop putting fish in random things. Oh my God. Just put a toy fish in there, please. Like, I know they probably did it for a very short time, but I don't think that makes a difference to me. There's no point in putting an animal through stress like this just for 
stupid TikTok and also encouraging other people to do the same thing, which it does because there's several TikToks of this now. Um, and look how big the fish is too, it's like not even moving there. Plus, is any of the stuff they use even safe for fish? Probably not. Also, do they buy the fish just to do this and then what do they do with them? Like, there's no good good reason for this. This little fish is just a friendly cameo. No harm will come to it. What if I shoved you in a nail full of toxic chemicals for a TikTok? Is that a friendly little cameo? Is it? Is it? <laughs> I love this TikTok because I always go through this. Well, not on the bus. Well, I used to bus before I had a car. Sometimes I would have like mealworms or flies, you know, in my purse. <laughs> Sometimes I would still bring a little container of mealworms or flies with me into like a shop, into like a mall or something because I just got them from the pit store and I want to leave them in my car. So they're just, you know, in my bag. Just a container of flies. My biggest fear is that I'll drop them and they'll just go everywhere and people think I'm actually insane. Alright guys, that's all for this video. I'm gonna end it here. Let me know what you guys thought about any of these TikToks as always. And if you want to send me any, feel free to tag me in it on TikTok and I might review it in my next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!